Hello, first grade friends. So I'm going to be your math teacher for today and we're going to have fun. So the theme for today was a creature. So we're gonna have silly creatures with us throughout our lesson, okay? So let me go ahead and show you. So here it is, our PowerPoint. PowerPoint. There we go. So let's go. first grade module two, lesson 12. Okay. So, and my name is Miss Uriosigi, but you can go ahead and call me Missy. Alrighty, so our math schedule for the day. So first, we're going to do some math fluency, which is going to be skip counting by fives. We're going to go over the fact family of five, and we're going to have a little fun mystery activity. And then the second thing we're going to do is our objective. So we're going to go over what does it mean? Why is it important? And then the third thing is the lesson which will have like a teacher example. And then we're gonna have practice problems for step four, okay? So let's get on to it. Okay, so first we're gonna skip count by fives. And here I have my hundreds chart. Now, if you wanna go ahead and print out your own hundreds chart, I'll show you where you can find one, okay? So, in your learning guide, you're gonna have something that looks similar to this. In the learning guide in the bottom, it says, want more resources or practice, check these, ex to, check these out to extend the lesson. So down there on the third one, number three, you're gonna go ahead and copy, and then in a different tab, you're gonna go ahead and open a different tab. You're gonna go ahead and paste it and then download that hundreds chart, okay? But since I already have mine, here we go. Let's do the presenting mode. Okay, so today we're gonna skip count by fives. And don't you worry, I am going to have my pointer. So if you want, now that you have yours, you can go ahead and unpause. So remember, pause when you need to and unpause when you're ready. So when you skip count by fives, you're, you can, if this is the first time you can whisper, you can go one, two, three, four, five, and then five, and then you'd go again, one, two, three, and then you would line on this one, so you would say 10, and that's how you count. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I skip count from five, from zero all the way to 20, and then I want you to go and do it with me, okay? But first, I'm gonna go ahead and skip count by myself so that you can hear, and then we're going to go ahead and skip count together, okay? And look, here's our silly creature. He's gonna, it's an ice cream, it's a popsicle one, and he's eating another ice cream monster or creature. Okay, so. Ready? I'm gonna skip count by myself and then I want you after this to skip count with me, okay? So just listen. Ready? Two, three, four, five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. So there's that. Okay. Now I want you to go ahead and count with me. Okay. Ready? Put your finger on your calendar, or if you want, you can just follow along with my pointer. Ready? So we're gonna do it nice and slow. Remember, you can whisper the ones between the fives. Okay. Five. 
Jen. Fifteen. Twenty. Round of applause. Now, let's do that again, but a little bit faster. Ready? So I'm not going to whisper these anymore. I'm just going to say that. Okay, ready? Set. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Nice. Okay. Now without the pointer, I'm not going to use the pointer. Now I'm going to go do it again. So it's going to be a little bit faster and no pointer. You ready? Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to count backwards by five. Okay. So we're going to start at 20. And we're going to go all the way backwards. So it's be five and then zero. Okay. So when we start here, ready? So it's 20. 15. 10. 5 and 0. Good job. Let's do that two more times. This time I'm going to use the pointer and then the last time we're not going to use the pointer. Okay? A little bit faster. Ready? 20 15 10 five and zero okay now if you still need to use the pointer or to put your finger on the screen or on your hundreds charts okay don't worry about it but i'm not going to use the pointer anymore okay so let's do this and let's go a little bit faster ready 20 15 10 5 and zero. Round of applause. Good job. Righty. Let's see what's next. Well, we're going to go over the fact family of five. And right underneath my screen, there's a heart. Look at that. I'm going to leave it right there, okay? So that you can see the beautiful heart right next to you. Okay, so the fact family is when you have to add. So it'd be like five plus one, five plus two, and so on and so forth, okay? So the first one we're gonna do is actually gonna be five plus one. So if you want, I'll make my screen a little bit bigger just so that you can see, okay? So since the first one's gonna be five plus one, I'm going to go ahead and use my fingers. So five plus one. What does that equal? Five. Yeah, good job. Five plus one is six. Nice. Now the next one is five plus two. So here's I have five fingers and I have two more. How much does that make? So five, six, seven. Five plus two equals seven. Okay, let's do one more on our fingers and then we'll figure out the pattern, okay? Five, so what's next if we already added two? Three. Five plus three. What does that equal? Five, six, eight. 
Yeah. Five plus three equals eight. Good job. Okay. So we're not gonna use our fingers anymore. Let's look at the pattern. Let me make my video small again, but not too small, just like that. So look, five plus one is equal six, and five plus two equals seven. So look at that. Now, five plus three is equal to eight. All of them increased by how much? One, right? Because you're only adding one, so one plus one is two, right? And if you add one more to the six, it becomes a seven. And if you add one to the two, it becomes a three. And if you add one to the seven, it becomes an eight. So we're just adding one more. So what is five plus four? Yeah, we're adding one more right here. Five plus four is equal to nine. Nice work. Remember, if you need more time to find the answer or come up with the answer, you can go ahead and pause the video and unpause it when you have your answer, okay? So, eight plus one is nine, yeah. So five plus four is equal to nine. Now, what's five plus five? Yes, it's 10. Five plus five is equal to 10. Because you added one more to the nine, and it becomes a 10. Nice work. I love how hard you're working and coming up with these answers. Okay, so what is five plus six? If five plus five is 10, what is five plus six? 11, five plus six is 11, nice. So what is five plus seven? Think about five plus six, what is five plus seven? That's right, it's 12. Five plus seven equals 12. Okay, so then what is five plus eight? Eight. Five plus eight equals 13. Yeah, because if you add one more to 12, it equals 13, because you're adding one more to the seven to make it into an eight. Okay, so then what is five plus nine? Five plus nine. That's right, five plus nine equals 14. 14, nice. Okay, last one. What is five plus 10? Five plus 10. Yeah, five plus 10 equals 15. Nice work, okay. I wonder what's next now that we finish our fact of five. That's right, it's our mystery one. And look, here, I found this fun little thing. It says, find the seven differences. So it means that this guy and this guy have seven. So five, six, seven things that are different. So it wants us to find them. So if you want, you can go ahead and look for the seven things. So you can pause the video, find the seven things, and when you have found all seven, you can go ahead and unpause. Okay, so now that you've had some time to look at it, and I've had some time to look at it, let's see if we got all seven of the five of the differences okay it says 
find the seven differences. Hmm. Do you know what I see? The first thing I see is the ear. Look at it. This one's yellow. And this one's like a pink color, right? Yeah, so that's one. What else? Yeah, one ear is pink. Look at the other one. So there we have two things. So if we found two, so one, two, how many more do we need to find? Five more. Okay, let's look. What is there? Oh, that's missing an eyebrow. It's not that. <laughs> yeah, he has only one eyebrow. And right here, he had two. How silly would we look with one eyebrow? <laughs> but we have two. Okay, what's next? Yeah, the tooth. He's missing a tooth right here. He has only one, two, three. And he doesn't have this one. And right here, he had one, two, three. He had four of them. But in this one, he's missing one. What else did you find? Yeah, his eye color. That one's a tricky one, right? Look. You can barely even tell, but it's purple. And then here, both of his eye colors are black, but he has a purple one here. That's a nice eye you have there to see that. What else? What? Yeah, the color. This one's orange and yellow. And look, right here, he had like a reddish color and a yellow bottom. Yeah, it could be a pink, but it looks kind of like red to me, like an orange red. So here, let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six things. We already found six. So we're missing how many? One more, correct. What could it be? Look where I put my pointer. Yeah, how can I miss that? It's so big, right? It's his belly mark. He's missing the belly mark right here. Now let's count how many we have. Found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We found all seven. Big round of applause and a pat on the back. Nice work. Okay. Now, ooh, it's objective time. I'm gonna move my camera a little bit right there. Okay. For our objective, it says, solve word problems with subtraction of nine from 10. So what does that mean? What does this objective mean? Yeah, it means that we're going to read word problems and we're going to be able to use subtraction. So we're going to subtract nine from them and that way we'll find our answer. Okay. But why is that important? So it's important because we want to know how to use subtraction, how to take away nine. And for example, if I have my family over, and I have 12 lollipops and nine of my family members want a lollipop. So they, nine of my family members eat a lollipop. So if I had 12 and nine of them are, if none, nine of them are eaten, how many do I have left? So I have to know because it's like a word problem. I have to know how many lollipops do I have left? That's why it's important to be able to solve problems with subtraction of nine from 10. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move my camera again. 
because I want us to be able to read everything, okay? So, this is the teacher example. It says, make a simple math drawing. Cross out from the 10 ones or the other part in order to show what happens in the stories. <clears throat> so those are the directions. Now let's look at the word problem so that we can solve. It says, Heather has 16 cookies. Mm, yummy. 10 are on the plate and six are in the oven. Heather eats nine cookies from the plate. How many cookies does Heather have left? Okay, so how many did she have? Yeah, Heather had 16 cookies. So don't worry, you don't have to write any of this down. This is my example. So just go ahead and listen to me, think out loud and solve the problem, okay? And then we'll do a few together. Okay, so I knew that Heather had 16, so 16. And out of the 16, 10 are on a plate, right? And six are in the oven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the number bonds of 16. So I'm gonna decompose it. And I know that 10 of the 16 cookies are on a plate. And that six are in the oven. So 10 plus six makes 16, okay? So there we go. We have our number bond. We have decomposed this 16 into 10 and six. Now it says, Heather eats nine cookies from the plate, okay? Oh, I'm not sure how to do the subtraction. So, you know what I, I do know how to use? I know how to use my tense frames, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and use the tense frame and I'm gonna show the 10 cookies that are on the plate. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are the 10 cookies that are on the plate. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do a tense frame again. And this time I'm gonna show the six cookies that are in the oven, okay? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So these are the six cookies that are in the oven. Now, it says, Heather eats nine cookies from the plate. So I remember that the 10 ones are the ones on the plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and take away nine. So I'm gonna subtract nine from this 10 cookies on the plate because she eats nine cookies from the plate. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So those are five subtracting those and then let's see. so it's five six seven eight nine so subtracting those as well so now the cookies that aren't crossed out with red means the cookies that heather has left over so how many cookies does heather have left so let's see remember these are six and this one on the plate that she didn't eat. So six, this one, let's circle that. How much is six plus one? Seven. So Heather has seven cookies now. Nice. See, that wasn't so hard, right? It's little steps, so many steps, but we use them and they help us find the answer. Let's go on to the next one. So this is a practice problem. So if you wanna go ahead and look for a piece of paper and a pencil, you can go ahead and do that by pausing the video and unpausing that when you have the materials. 
You can also use a whiteboard or a marker, okay? Whatever you have available. So go ahead, pause and unpause when you're ready. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and read it for you, okay? So it says, 12 frogs are in the pond. 10 are on a lily pad and two are in the water. Nine frogs hop off the lily pad and out of the pond. How many frogs are in the pond? Okay, so they wanna know how many frogs are still in the pond because nine frogs hopped off and left the pond, right? Okay, so first let's know how many were there to begin with? 12, right? There was 12 frogs, so let's have our 12 right there. And remember, you can go ahead, pause the video whenever you need to write down something and unpause when you're ready to go. So there's, there was 12 frogs. So what are we going to do? Yeah, we're going to find the number bonds. We're going to decompose this 12, right? So we're going to decompose into two numbers. So how many of them were on the lily pad? 10 were on the lily pad, pad right? It's 10. And how many were in the water? Two, two were in the water. So here we have decomposed it and found its number bond. So 10 plus two is equal to 12. Okay, so now we're going to use our tens frame, right? So here's our 10 frame. We're gonna use this one for the 10 and then we're gonna use this 10 frame for the two. So if you want to go ahead and make your 10 frame, you can go ahead and pause the video and unpause it when you're ready. Okay, so now that I have my 10 frames, I'm going to go ahead. What do we do next? Yes, we're going to show our little frogs, right? So you can go ahead and draw a little circle for the frog. But since I had the I had computer, I want to go went ahead and found the cute little frogs, okay? So what do we do? Yeah, we show our 10 frogs that are on the lily pad. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are 10 frogs on the lily pad. And then we go ahead and we're gonna show the two frogs that are in the pond, in the water pond, the water, okay? So one, two, nice. Okay, so now it wants us to find how many are still in the pond. So I'm gonna go ahead and reread it so that we know what we're doing, okay? 12 frogs are in the pond. 10 are on a lily pad and two are in the water. Nine frogs hop off the lily pad and out of the pond. How many frogs are in the pond? So how many frogs left the pond? Yeah, you're right. The nine frogs, right? They they hopped off the lily and then they went out of the pond. So if they f jumped off the lily, so it's the ones from here, right? And since we can't subtract nine from two, we're gonna go over here to 10 and subtract the nine. So let's count them. one, two, three, four, five. So those are five. So six, seven, eight, nine. So the frogs that aren't crossed out are the frogs that are still in the pond. How many is there? Yeah, there's these ones, right? So how many is that? 
Mr. Golden. Three frogs are still in the pond. So there are three frogs in the pond. Nice. Okay, another practice problem. It says, I'm gonna go ahead and read this. So don't worry, you don't have to write this down. It says, Kim has 14 stickers. 10 stickers are on the first page. And four stickers are on the second page. Kim loses nine stickers from the first page. How many stickers are still in her book? Okay, so to begin with, how many stickers does she have? Go ahead and write that down on your piece of paper. Yeah, how many does she have? 14 stickers, so she had 14 stickers. And so she had, out of those 14 stickers, she had 10 stickers on the first page. And how many on the second page? She had four stickers on the second page. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna decompose this 14, right? And find its number bond. So we're gonna decompose into two numbers. So the first one is the one on the first page, right? So it's 10 stickers. And then how many does she have on the second page? Four stickers. So here we have 14, it's been decomposed to 10 and four because 10 plus four equals 14. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and yeah, show our tens frame for both of them. So if you want to pause the video to do your tens frame and unpause when you're ready, go ahead. Okay, so here I have my tens frame for the 10 that are on the first page, right? So let's go ahead and show our stickers. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are the ten stickers on the first page. Now let's go ahead and show the four stickers on the second page. Ready? One, two, three, four. So we have the four stickers on the second page. Now let's read what does say right here. Kim loses nine stickers from the first page. How many stickers are there still in the book? So she has to she loses nine stickers from the first page. So remember, these are the stickers that represent the first page. So go ahead and cross out the nine stickers that she lost. So you can pause the video and unpause it when you're done crossing them out, okay? So here I have one, two, three, four, and five. So that's five. Remember, she lost nine, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. So nine stickers she lost, so they're gone. She can't find them. So let's see, which. how many stickers does she still have left? So it's these ones, right, and this one in the first page. So let's circle it. How many stickers are there? Four, and one more, four plus one, five. So Kim has five stickers in her book. Nice work. Okay, next one, look, we already have our tens frames ready for us, and we already know how we're gonna decompose it. Ooh, let's read the problem word problem to see why this one is in here, right? So it says, 10 eggs are in a carton 
and five eggs are in a bowl. So 10 are in a carton and five are in a bowl. Joe's father cooks nine eggs from the carton. How many eggs are left? Okay, but first we have to find out how many eggs did he have before his dad cooked them, right? So you can say 10 plus five and figure it out. That's the faster way, but I'm gonna go ahead and show all my eggs because I don't really know what 10 plus five is, okay? So if you already have your tens frame and this drawn out, good job. If not, go ahead, pause the video, copy that down and then show us the 10 and the five eggs, okay? All right, since I already have mine, I'm gonna continue, okay? So I'm gonna draw my 10 eggs that are in a carton. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So those are my 10 eggs that are in a carton. Now I have to show my five eggs that are in the bowl. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Those are my five eggs. Now, remember when we were skip counting by five? So it's five and five and five. So let's skip count by fives. So it's five, 10, 15. So there's how many eggs did um, Joe have before his dad cooked them? He had 15 eggs. So 15 right here. So when you decompose 15, it's 10 and five. Those are the number bonds for 15. Okay, but now let's solve the problem. It says Joe's father cooks nine eggs from the carton. So the eggs from the carton, right? How many eggs are left? So let's, you can go ahead and scratch the nine out. So pause the video, scratch them out, and unpause once you're done and you cross them out. Okay, now let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So that's five. I need to take away nine. I need to subtract nine. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. There, I subtracted nine eggs. So let's circle the ones that are left over. How many eggs are there left over? So let's count them. So these are how many? Five and five plus five plus one is equal to six. So there are six eggs left. Nice work. Let's see. Our next one, ooh, it looks like a lot because this time we have the tens frames ready for us, but look, all of these are here, but we have no numbers. Ooh, it's kind of tricky. Let's see what the problem says. It says, there were 16 books on the table. 10 books were about dinosaurs. Six books were about fish. A student took nine books of the dinosaur books. How many books were left on the table? Okay, so how many books did they have before they, they took away? How many? Yeah, there were 16 books on the table. So let's go ahead and write 16 right there. Okay, so we're gonna decompose, decompose the 16 into two numbers, right? Do we already know what those numbers are? If you do, go ahead and write them down. Okay, so 
right here says 10 books were about dinosaur and six books were about fish. I know that 10 plus six is equal to 16. So 10 books were about dinosaurs. So 10, these are about dinosaurs. And how many were about fish? Six. So 10 plus six equals 16. There we go. Now let's go ahead and fill our tense frames, okay? So you can go ahead and fill yours out. And so pause the video and unpause when you're done filling yours out. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my 10 books of dinosaurs, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's see the six books that were about fish. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. We have our six books about fish. So it says, a student took nine books of the dinosaur books. So go ahead in your paper, cross out the nine books that the student took of dinosaur. So pause it and unpause once you're done crossing them out. So here I have my, I know that the top row means it has five, right? So I'm going to go ahead and cross these five out. So that's five books. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I subtracted nine of the books because a student took nine books of dinosaurs. So I'm gonna go ahead, what do we do next? Yeah, we're gonna circle it. So I want you to circle yours on your paper, okay? There we go, so I have mine circled. It was the, well, I had a struggle circling when I did this. I don't know why, but that's my beautiful circling. So let's see, how many were here? Six, right? So six plus one, so. Right, how many are there left? Six plus one, seven. So there were seven books left on the table. Nice work. Okay, so that is it for today, friends. Look, look at my silly little creatures. Okay, so. Thank you for that. So, I'm gonna... so thank you for allowing me, Miss Uriostegi, to be your math teacher for today. And I look forward for next time, okay? Stay silly.